Hello and welcome back. It's been a long time since we did any beatbox stuff. It's time to get to it. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. Uh, last night on the YouTube community page, I was like, hey, what beatbox video should we do? And two different people said this video. So we're going to do this video, River versus Napalm. I'm excited. Let's go. Get that opening it's cool because all these that i've listened to i don't feel like we've had many ballads this felt like a jazz standard the way it's moving through boom 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 you got the boom 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 we're getting that like but with all these like insane sounds that are happening so like harmonically and like creatively within like the melodic sense of the composition within the beatbox that was like full of other stuff. Also, I didn't recognize him for a second because the other video I've done of him, his hair was so different. I'm like, whoa, bro, you really got it going on now. Let's go back and let's do it again because damn, there was some cool stuff in there. I really like that like record scratch sound of like when you're playing something, you listen to like, some old music on a record player. It just kind of has that feel to it. Get you in the chest. But, 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 but all that in out stuff that's happening there that's interesting all the little uh six tuplets right there but with multiple other sounds happening at the same time very let's go back a couple seconds grab that again the resolution though it comes out of that it's so low that's okay that's interesting There's so many like substances uh, happening right now because you get like lyric stuff happening. There's muted trumpet, the chord progression. So there we got this in out breathing crazy. I don't know the terms. There's just too many. Your guys' language is, is difficult. It's it's well, <laughs> it's freaking difficult, man. There's a lot of stuff happening and it seems to differ with interpretations because I get a lot of comments on similar things and folks call it different things. So it's it's better that you just tell me and I'm just going to be the outsider forever. And that's that's totally cool. But I feel like musically. Like we're getting more than I'm used to getting in some of these routines. So uh, for that, granted, this is just the beginning. We haven't heard anything yet. I just really, really digging this first one. That's interesting. And like the, the parrot screech sound right there is super interesting. I 
think the other reason I like it is because uh, I appreciate um, articulation styles, okay, like different sounds that someone can make. It's like similar to being able to play different licks on your instrument. Uh, this feels just different though, because like there's so, you know, that you play, you know, if I play my bass or my guitar, or, you know, or something like another, if you play a like saxophone or something like they're all a saxophone sound or it's all a bass sound. You can manipulate sounds and do cool like harmonic things or taps or like maybe you slap and, and pop. But it's still that ins I feel like this one, you're getting so many varieties of sounds that you have to learn how to execute on their own. But then you're doing them within the context of the of the the tune that he's playing and they're all together and some of them are overlapping. So I think that's the added challenge that a lot of other instruments don't have. Every instrument has like different challenges. Dude, on, on a Monday night I was in drumline class, we we're talking about percussion and like, you know, people often think like, well, it's just let's put it on drums. It's just drumsticks. And I like, was talking to the students about like why that's such like a, I was like, please do not buy into that mentality because you're, they're all struggling a lot in the class. I'm like, you can see how difficult this is with just drumsticks. So I think the credit I want to give here is that you're, you're kind of metagaming and managing so many different sounds and like things that are required inside to create said sounds. I don't have any, you know, I don't have any proximity to that, but I can appreciate the hell out of it. Nice resolution, man. You can you can hear the core, dude. It's like a little, just a little mini with a little rubato in the end. We just slow down, pull it back, and you hear the RP, the 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 kind of broken chord stuff there, and then it just resolves. It's gorgeous. All right, what's the response gonna be? Switch. done it on my own yeah now i've got my crew here yeah i've always done it on my own now i've got got you here i'm right here with you until the last 10 seconds i was like uh, you you better step it up dude because technically with remember the ignorance the ignorance of perception i'm not new to new music though uh compositionally it was not really it was not on par from what uh from what river gave to us um i imagine though in person with the the amount of like headphone listener here the bass was a little more intense i imagine in person that was probably rumblin chess and that was probably pretty cool but i felt like uh it was kind of matched with the idea it was like a ballad as well that's cool Tempo's way pulled back. Feels super buzzy, lip buzz stuff, whatever's going on to create all those bass sounds. But as far as like melodic, I've always done it on my own. I feel like um, straight up a little bit more singing is a little slower of a pitch, a little more square over the bass in comparison to uh, the melodies that were, we got some vocals from River and then it was kind of disguised within a lot more um, a lot more display of a wide variety of techniques, if that makes sense. Yeah, now I've got my crew here. Yeah, I've always done it on my own. Ba -ba -da 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 the melody's cool and stuff, but though it's it is a beatboxing competition, right? Oh, like, now I've got got you here. I'm right here. It's cool. We come back. Yeah. Like that, that low register is pretty wild. I just feel like there is quite a bit of leaning on the, uh, there's just a lot more like borderline. Mm, what am I trying to say here? I just feel like there's more regular vocals versus a display of beatboxing techniques. 
being used in the same minute in 20, whatever the allotment is. That's heavy though. And if I lose my Oh, he, that was cool. That section, like, that was like a big punctuation, right? Those were exclamation points for sure. When dude had to be like, all right, just, I'm just going to walk over here. I imagine, dude, I, I couldn't do this, man. If someone was up in my face, like, t like trying to touch me and shit, it would not, it just would not go over well. I don't, I don't have a cool and collected head like that to walk the other way. Oh, he, you made me lose my, oh, it's cool. Oh, like. I feel like the vibration down there is it's it's nice. If we heard this one first before we heard his, I think I'd probably be a little bit switched on my uh, perception, but I'm just not though. When if I lose my mind, mind, very similar like uh some variety but not like a huge exploration of differences. Now, I guess with uh, I mean I that kind of sounds critical, I guess was what I'm saying, but it's impossible not to compare people when you're listening to them back to back. So with what I just I'm thinking about in my head right now. So the second round for river, is there going to be more variety? Is there going to be development with unsaid themes or it'll be similar? Because I feel like he came out of the gate with a shit ton of like display. Like we threw a lot of stuff out on the table. So I'd be very curious. Fine. That's cool. Sorry. I want that. That was like super up in the stratosphere, man. Good mouse. Yeah, so I like the reverse. Took it the back, took it the back. That rhythm there. I need. I was like, please give me something. Give me something a little bit more uh, rhythmically interesting. That was definitely interesting. I like that too. That was cool. All right, so those two parts were really. Like more of the musical section for me. Everything else is pretty straight over the plate. <laughs> yeah, dude. You sweaty? I'm always sweaty. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that seems that seems like the American thing too. Our our egos are so like that where we just we gotta be in the face of other people versus kind of the art of it. But hey, it is what it is, right? It's a beatbox battle. Okay, so what's he gonna do back? What is the next segment gonna be? Switch! Switched. Switched. Mm. dig the the arrogant part at all yeah i get it though because it is a battle it's you know it is what it is musicians quote each other all the time it's cool that he like took the technique and played on with it it's just like i don't know like the aggressiveness of it kind of minimizes the creativity to what but you know whatever like i said it's a battle it's 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 a different culture all right let's go back and appreciate what was going on though because this routine had like a lot of variety compared to the uh the uh, the past one so that was cool switch switch <laughs> Do 
I already like the tunnel, the tunnel center for it. Also, completely different tempo from the first one. So we're getting a lot of variety right out of the gate. It's not conceptualized within the same type of groove or same type of beat. So that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, dude. What was that? The the double bass zipper sound right there. That is fucking crazy. Right here. I want to hear more of those, dude. That was like, what does this mean? What does the two and the one mean? That was like uh, multi uh, multi phonic stuff happening there. That that's pretty cool. I dig this. I man, I just like his creativity and his his music is just sticking to me more, man. Like yeah. That's pretty nice. What, what what's going on here? Is he is he mocking him? What's what's the deal? Is he like telling like, yeah, you've done that twice before? What's what what's happening? <laughs> yeah, man. For me, he's just like taking the floor and sweeping up. Like, there's so much more going on musically with all these different sounds. The rhythms are dope. They're clean as fuck. And it's just a lot more interesting to listen to. And there's a lot less of the Eric, like when dude is doing his thing, he's just not like up in his grill, like doing the shit for me. And, and maybe that's totally normal. And maybe I'm the odd man out like that. It's just, I feel like people that get loud and distractive in that setting, they're trying to cover up. There's a reason why they're doing that. And you know, that's just me. I'm probably old and I'm just like removed, but I just, I really prefer someone that's like more like quiet and like waits for their time and then they fuck shit up when it's their turn. <laughs> that chirp though. Some this. Need some this. <laughs> that is a nice little lick, dude. Love it. Need some this. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I feel like that's like warranted because he's up in his shit the whole time. <laughs> that was weird, dude. That's like other stuff happening during that same little melodic thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that into the drop though that's cool though like i feel like you know everybody uses that kind of build but at least you know it's there it's not being overused yeah what is that follow this luck was more impressive the second time around he did say follow this like so maybe that's you know he was like hey, hey I'm, I'm setting it up for you copy it and get into it that kind of makes sense too uh i don't even know what kind of i mean i don't remember what spit snare is versus all the other type of snares but uh as far as like timbre sound of snare you can hear how much tighter that like if that was a real drum it's cranked it's obviously not a real drum it's all created uh vocally but dude like in this this section <laughs> this section is out of control that's 645 i'm gonna go to six like 30 just to get into that again because there's so much stuff happening the other thing i feel like we're getting really really strong on riverside is just a crescendo of expression and that you know thematically shit's being developed like the whole time there's not we're not camping out on one thing there's just a lot happening and then at the end the the pedal goes down and then we get an explosive display on whatever the theme has been <laughs> He 
gets like more silly in a great way every time I hear it. And then the, the one little, the one little variation on the snare at the end. This is ridiculously good, man. Like shape, phrasing, textures, crescendos, diminuendos, like use of dynamics, all the shit's there, dude. The groove's there. We got so much variety. So, all right. I know he takes it at the beginning right here, but let's see where the response goes. That's funny. That's exactly it. I'm a monster. I'm a, I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm a monster. I'm a, I'm a monster. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. You don't look like you're having much fun. Oh, that's cool. People want that dog shit. Gene at home. How do you stop a river with a d -d 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 damn Daniel? Cut! Okay. <sighs> There's so much fucking ego there, though, dude. God. Okay. Uh, yeah. Some of those grooves are pretty cool. Uh, I don't remember where it started. I'm going to go back here a little bit. Uh, some of that, the low end shit, I, I imagine live, that's just like out of control. Like how much, much beefy, how much protein for your ears is going on. It's just like, it's a little funky. The like, I get it. It's about, I mean, I don't get it because I don't do beatbox battles, but like uh, when you say like, you look like you're not having much fun. It's like, well, you know, like maybe it's not because like the focus is turning from music to some other shit, but that's just me. Again, I'm old. That's that's going to be my cop out. It's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I've different things mean different shit to me now than they did 20 years ago, but you know. You know. I'm a, I'm a monster. <laughs> so I, I really dig the back of the ticket the back of the that that like in out groove that's going on with the other groove on top of it. That that's pretty sick. Conceptually, that's pretty sick. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. it. I'm a monster. I'm a, I'm a monster. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm a monster. I'm a, I'm a monster. That's the part I'm talking about, the uh, uh, sounds that are going, that sounds so chest heavy with the lower, uh, I don't know, dude, like lower diaphragm. What, however you get that huge bass is probably pushing so much air out of the speakers. I would assume so far that's probably the loudest part. I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, the groove is nice. I feel like we get some good grooves here and there. And then there's a lot of other really sporadic um, ideas that are kind of just like, like, I'm sure he knows he's got to throw some technical shit out there to compete with it. But uh as far as like fitting the music conception, like, you know, this dot to that dot, they're there. They're kind of like above or below. They don't groove as much, but the ideas are cool individually. That one hits though. I like the, I think you paid a deal with the accents. You don't look like you're having much fun. <laughs> I dig that beat. I didn't know if we're going to actually uh, modulate to that, but then we come back to this group. So we, we stepped out, stepped out for a few seconds to come back. That's cool. Fun. <laughs> and then we go to this. 
So you do a three against two rhythm. That's cool. Like, I feel like there's all these really cool ideas. Like, I like that little club thing we got for like five seconds. Then we, then we go to the, the polyrhythm, but they don't like really like stick against each other. It's so it's like, dude, you have so many like great ideas. Like, let's weave that into something a little bit thicker to have that composition just be musically a little stronger. People want that dope shit. <laughs> That's sick, dude. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> I love where we're going. Okay, where we go into this this little, like, a substitute rhythm area. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that was cool. Very, very interesting. But like, I mean, that's probably the goal though. Like, I mean, again, I'm such a foreigner to all this, but it's like, whoa, um, we're getting like these ideas that are like a 10 out of 10, they're gold. And then we get them and then it just goes to this other thing. And then the feels here and it, it's so jumpy, but it's probably, it's probably intended that way. And I'm just, I mean, it's this reaction, right? Like I'm just speaking from like, oh, this is how I'm experiencing this. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I want to go see Gene. We got Gene at home. How do you stop a river with a d -d 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 dam? Dad? What, what's the somebody explain the, the gene part to me? The river and the dam part, obviously, it's there. But uh, again, this is all placating towards that stuff. This is, that's such the American, you know, like, oh, no shit. Okay, cool. And you. <laughs> Number wise, that's rad. That was an interesting fill to put on. Hold on, let's go back and grab that. I love the how thick and like it sounds like a, a water jug articulation here. It's so like the attack is so present. What? Sorry, I, I just want the connection of that. I'm trying to figure out the connection here. It was like, oh, it's like, it's borderline in the pocket. It's just not quite, you know, you, you know, the phrase it kind of swings like a rusty gate. It kind of, it, we almost got there. We almost got there, but the conceptually, the idea for the, how many notes you're fitting in there, that substitution, it was cool. Like it was there. It's just like, it's just not in the pocket of the groove. And I'm, I'm a pocket player. Like I really, I really feel like, you know, respecting tempos and times is super important. And you know, where your, your inner, where your inner metronome is. But of course, you know, that's not everyone's thing and it's not, not everyone wants it to be the thing. So it's all, there's really no wrong. There's no wrong answer in that whatsoever. It's, there's just interpretations because uh, the beauty of art is subjective, right? Like it's great for everybody. Ask a hundred people, hundred different uh, responses. And now, yo, yo this. I need to get River and Napalm to this day. Your GBB. Solo champion, 2023, right here live in Tokyo. Help me out from the bottom to the top. Get that energy. River! I think that went the right way. All right, there it is. Cool. Well, there it is. And from an outsider's perspective, that seems like the correct musical outcome if you were to rank one over the other. But I mean, let's be real. They're both like stupidly good. Some crazy ass rhythms, like the composition ideas are wild. All the metrics and polyrhythms and just like cool stuff coming from, you know, the human body, man. It's like, I feel like when I was a kid, beatbox meant something and it sounded very different than this. Like this is an augmented version and, you know, it's going to keep like everything. It's going to keep evolving and keep getting better and probably way more demanding and difficult. So very cool. Anyway, my name is Drumroll Tony. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Catch me on live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Click the like button. Subscribe for the next video. Let me know what else you want to hear. All right. Take it easy. Bye bye.